this is Amy Montgomery. Well, thank you for watching my video today. And today I want to talk to you about fulfilling goals. I have found that so many people really feel held back because they don't feel like they've arrived in life. They don't feel like they're perfect. And therefore, they put all of their goals and the things they really love to do on hold because they're not perfect. But I have news for you. None of us are perfect. And the reality is about goals is they actually transform you in the process. So it's not just about committing to something and then going after that thing just for the sake of, of achieving something. But we really want to go after that thing because it transforms us. So I'm going to give you some examples in my life of how that's really taken place. So. When I first started working in the business world, I didn't know any software at all. In fact, uh, to take you way back, my very first job, I actually had a typewriter. And that probably ages me a little bit. <laughs> but when I had a job that actually required computers and I had to start to learn software, so what did I do? I actually worked as a tester for Microsoft and I was the first person through Word 6.0, I read through the entire instruction manual top to bottom because they needed a tester to go through and give them feedback as to what they should change and that sort of thing. That's how I learned how to use Word. And then everything just started to build on top of that. And I remember my first day working for the Boeing Corporation and I was in human resources and I really wanted this job and I actually was started as a contractor and I didn't have any of the software experience that they wanted and they said we'll give you a chance because I was able just to tell them hey I can do this I know I can do this just give me a chance so they gave me the opportunity and I remember the executive handed me this piece of paper and he says, I want this in Visio. Well at the time I didn't know what Visio was. I'd never seen Visio. I just started to pray, Jesus, help me find what Visio is on this computer. And I was a little bit tech savvy enough to be able to search through computers and such. And I was able to find Visio, put it together and create something for him. That's how I learned. I learned by just throwing myself into it. And then I became great and awesome at all these computer programs. Later on, I went to school and actually became learned programming languages and learned web development and all of that. But I, I just learned as I went and I've never been afraid of just jumping into something and taking the opportunity and just saying that I can do it before I even know if I can do it. Because the reality is, is that you can always do it. You can always figure out a way to do it. Sometimes if you're confident and you believe in yourself enough, then you can do it. I remember when I first started a big four firm, I actually started there as an assistant. And this position came open and they didn't even really have a job description for it. I just knew it was in marketing. And I was already doing some of the work. And I remember uh, I applied for this position and they had interviewed all these people with these big marketing degrees and all this sort of thing. And I had to wait and wait and wait and wait but I kept telling them, I can do this. I know I can do this. Just give me an opportunity. And so they actually ended up giving me the job. And then I said to them, okay, great. So what are your expectations? And they said to me, well, um, we can't tell you because the expectations today are going to be different from the expectations tomorrow. So reality is, is you're going to succeed or you're going to fail. Well, thank God I succeeded. <laughs> and, uh, I was able to um, just go out there and do the work and work hard and I stayed there for six years. And so sometimes we just need to step out in our commitments and just say that we can do something just to, to go after it and become what we're supposed to become. And one of my reasons for really wanting to change what I was doing and offering up to you was the reality that I just see so many people that that think, oh great, um, I'm called to do X, Y, Z. And then you don't do anything. You don't do anything about that. And we really need to be people that will align ourselves with what we're supposed to do and what we're called to do. And don't allow the fear that somehow you're not qualified enough to step out. I always put myself in situations that I'm not qualified for on paper 
so that I can transform myself and so that I can become. That's how I've become as skilled as I am in the areas that I have been able to be skilled in. And I constantly put myself through training. I'm constantly looking for people that are uh, smarter than I am in areas of life and uh, always trying to glean from other people. And usually if there's somebody that is smart out there, then I am knocking on their door. <laughs> so we really need to be able to glean from other people learn from other people, be a sponge around other people that are smarter than us or that have some sort of skill set that we don't already have and be willing to learn and really willing just to step out and start. We really have to, um, you know, move the car, if you will, for the Lord to guide us. Even if you believe that the Lord is just guiding your path, well, he's got to have something to work with. You've got to give him something to work with. And uh, if you don't give him something to work with, then it's going to be really difficult for him to begin to move through your life. So, I want to encourage you this week to take a step out and begin to do some of those things that you really know that you're called to do. Don't wait. If you don't do it today, when's a good time? There's never going to be a good time. There's never going to be a perfect time in life. You just have to step out and just begin to do everything that you're called to do. And uh, I'm here for you. I'm hoping that I give you the tools to be able to succeed. I hope that you read my website. I hope that you um, watch me on Periscope and that I can give you some good tools there. And I hope that you are enjoying my new um, videos that I'm providing to you on YouTube. I just wanna encourage you that this week, write one of your goals down just one of them that you really want to go after that seems impossible. Really commit to that thing and begin to make progress this week towards that goal. Thanks for watching my video and I hope that you continue, I hope that you subscribe, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs>